welcome to another edition of GSE DigiNet. I'm your host, Jim Cavell, broadcasting director here at the beautiful Gulf South Conference headquarters in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, this weekend, the GSE Cross Country Championships will take place right across the road at Hoover's beautiful Spain Park Cross Country Complex. We will crown a GSE men's and women's cross country champion here in 2011. Very exciting stuff to talk about in that realm. But first, let's get to the gridiron. GSC football had an awesome week last week, headlined by GSC TV's Game of the Week, which took place not only on our plethora of cable networks throughout the Southeast, but also was picked up by ESPN for a first week of three straight, where we'll be getting the GSC brand out to the masses. That's right, ESPN3 will now carry GSC TV Live. The Gulf South Conference season switched gears this past week as four squads opened up their respective conference campaigns. All three of last week's games were decided by six points or less, led by Thursday night's GSC TV Live Game of the Week between number one North Alabama, who's now 6-1 and 0-1 and and in conference play, and number two Delta State, who moved to 7-1 and overall and 1-0 and in conference play. The rivals did not disappoint UNA's home crowd or the fans watching at home as DSU rallied from a 10-point deficit by outlasting the Lions in overtime, 30 to 24. The win not only put Delta State on top in the league standings, but also secured the Statesman's first number one national ranking since 2003. DSU returns home to face another top 10 foe when number 10 Valdosta State comes to Cleveland on Saturday. The game will not be shown by CSS, but will be shown live on Mediacom, WGLH-TV, Alabama Cable Network, ESPN Game Plan, and ESPN3 with no blackouts. Another top 25 conference clash headlines Saturday's pair of games this past weekend is number 10 Valdosta State, now 6-1 overall and 1-0 in conference play, used two interception touchdowns to buy defensive back Matt Pierce en route to a 22-21 homecoming triumph over then number 22 West Alabama, who's now 5-2 overall and 0-1 in conference play. Pierce gave the Blazers a 22-21 lead with 5-25 left to play when he returned his second interception, 85 yards for six points. He became just the second GSC player to return two interceptions for touchdowns in a game after the feat was accomplished for the first time back in 2010. UWA running back Matt Willis shined in the loss, racking up 219 yards rushing and ranking seventh now in the GSC record books. West Georgia, now 4-2 overall, 0-0 in conference play, will play its first conference matchup this week on GSC TV Live. They continue their non-conference slate, thrilling its home crowd, squeaking past St. Augustine's 23-21, thanks to Davis Brackett's 35-yard field goal as time expired. WG's win stretched the GSC's record versus Division II non-conference foes to 26-3. UWG gets ready to host West Alabama in this week's GSC TV Live game, which will be shown by Mediacom, WGLH TV, Alabama Cable Network, and ESPN3. That's right, with no blackouts. Here we go. Gaddy snaps it. Pendleton holds it. Bracket kicks it. This is your game. Both lines are set. Snap, touch. Bracket's kick is up. Bracket's kick is going. It's good. It's good. Wolves win. 23-21. So, pretty great stuff going on on the gridiron in the Gulf South Conference. Now let's check out what's going on in men's and women's soccer and women's volleyball as we get closer to their championship events coming later this fall. West Florida leads the way in women's soccer, 5-0 in conference play, eight straight wins as they're 10-2 overall along with two ties. North Alabama is 4-1. Tied with them is Valdosta State at 4-1, and, and then Alabama Huntsville at 3-1-1. One one. So going to be an interesting end of the conference season to see who gets a shot at the GSC women's soccer title as we go down the stretch. Looking at men's soccer, West Florida once again on top there, 3-1-0, 8-3-2 overall. Alabama Huntsville. 3-1, Christian Brothers 2-0. Oh. So those three teams atop the men's standings as they get ready for the championships coming up at West Florida a little bit later this fall. In women's volleyball, West Florida atop the volleyball standings. They're dominating all the fall sports standings right now. 8-0 for Melissa Walter. We talked about on the previous GSC DigiNet episode, Melissa Walter likes to play a tough non-conference schedule to get ready for conference play. Looks like it's working. 16-8 overall. North Alabama 6-2. Also at 6-2, Christian Brothers. And West Alabama at 5-3. Those four teams vying 
to get to the championships this year and win a GSC title. So great stuff going on throughout the Gulf South Conference and all of our fall sports. And it will culminate this weekend with GSC TV Live's games on Thursday and Saturday. Some really good gridiron matchups there. And then, of course, the cross-country championships, which will be featured on the GSC TV Live telecast on Saturday. But it will also be featured with a GSC DigiNet update and some other special footage we'll be providing from the cross-country championships. Until then, I'm Jim, and this is GSC DigiNet.